Hey everybody and welcome to this week's Judge Dredd miniature painting. As you can see, I have a 1980s Games Workshop Judge Dredd figure. Now this was part of the Mooty range that they released and his little tab says monkey face. That's all it says. So I guess he could fill multiple roles. The first one being he could obviously be an ape guy for an ape gang that were very popular in the 80s. He could be a mutant that happens to have ape face or ape features. Or he could just be probably one of the guys from the Darwin block who accidentally poisoned themselves and turned themselves into primates. But for my collection, I want him to be a red leg raider. So I don't know if you've seen him in the past, but Rhode Island Red came out at the same time as this model. Part of the same collection, he was a mutant with a chicken head, which was quite unique. And it was from the comic, is it the, the Fear of Milwaukee? Or the Fear That Made Milwaukee? It was a great strip where the Red Leg Raiders had been attacking convoys and uh, scavengers to the point that Mega City One sent Judge Dredd out to deal with him. And Rhode Island Red had an army or at least a decent sized force of mutants that he could raid with. And he also had dog vulture pets. And in the story, Dread overpowers Rhode Island Red. And as he's taken him back to Mega City One, a character known as Ape chases them down in an attempt to try and rescue his leader. So for purposes of my storytelling, this guy is going to be that mutant. This is going to be Ape. So we kicked things off with hardened leather, painted the boots, and then we're going to paint all the pouches that he's got around his waist. And then I also painted the gun handle with the brown as well. He does have, um, trying to think of the right term, he's probably wearing a straight jacket. I didn't realize until later on that it was probably a straight, straight jacket, but he has these belts on his wrists and one around his neck. Very iconic of a straight jacket. I just didn't pick up on it at the time. So, but I do paint them in. It's only until now that I actually realise what they were. In good old classic me. So this is going to be the fourth mutant from this series. The 1980s Judge Dredd. And I've done them all very similar in the fact that they have one leg red. One leg blue. Makes them the red leg raiders. That's how I'm going with it. And so we're going to do a similar scheme on him. Right now we are doing Crusader Flesh. I went with that because I'm going to stick with the army painters for this model completely. He's going to be all army painter. Except for his base, which uh, I'm using up my Citadel paint. So I've used, uh, I will use Administratum Grey to do his base and then some... Uh, Abaddon black for the base rim, but that's otherwise it is all army speed painter. Sorry, my phone is trying to connect to my computer, making some wonderful bleeping noises. But yeah, I'm just gonna layer this on nice and thick, let it do its job. Now we are still in the middle of a heat wave here in Ottawa as I paint. This model, it is 42 degrees. This contrast paint is drying up nice and quick, which is wonderful. But at the same time, I am roasting and close to passing out. It is way too hot. I've got the aircon blasting in the other room. But uh, I've got my door shut because I don't want that aircon noise coming through. So I'm going to try and do this talking relatively quick so that I can get into some cold air again. <laughs> Uh, as always, this is probably a good time to say like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I've got loads of 1980s Judge Dredd to paint, as well as Modern Warlord games. So there's going to be a lot of painting videos coming up over the next few weeks. I've also pretty much hit 4,000 hours of watch time, so massive thank you everyone who's uh, sat through and watched my videos. It truly does mean a lot. I never started this channel with the intent to be one of those people that is aiming for the 4,000, but now that I've hit it, I'm rather proud of myself. <laughs> but 
but a big thank you. I really couldn't have done it without you guys, and especially those that are supporting the either the blog or this channel through your kind donations to the coffee club. It really does mean a lot. I'm enjoying plenty of coffee, especially iced coffee right now. And I'm excited for what we're going to get up to in the next few months. I think we got a lot happening. I really want you guys to tag along for that adventure. All right, next up is the Magic Blue. We're going to use this for his left leg. I love this car uh, color on my... Uh, I'm trying to think. On my perps of Judge Dredd. It's a very comical color. I think it's nice. It's bright. It stands out against the blue I use on the judges, which is a lot more muted and darker. This is bright, it's vibrant, kind of feels like a fashion trend that the citizens of the future would love to wear. So why wouldn't the Mooties love wearing it as well? Now, annoyingly, this model did have a little bit of a mold slip around its face. It has this line going down that I could have cleaned up. But at the same time, this model is from 1980. I would imagine 85, 86, sometime around there. I don't want to mess with it. I just want to paint it. I want it to look nice. This is how it came out of the mold. So I'm going to respect <laughs> respect the issue. Maybe it's a scar running down his face. But you won't really see it unless it's super close up. And any photos I take will probably be from the other angle. I don't think it really hurts the model too much, but there'll be some of you that when you see his face will be like, why didn't you clean that up? Well, I didn't want to. It's part of the model. Up next is the Grave Lord Grey. I'm going to use this purely on the gun. Uh, I hate using metallic paints on my Judge Shred slash 2000 AD lines. I just don't like how it looks. I feel that uh, I've gone more comic book true in the sense that they wouldn't use metallics in the comic book, because that'd be a real pain to print. So everything's going to be a grey rather than a shiny colour. It really works. It's... I'm trying to work out what it would be. I would assume it's a spit gun. It has a, a rifle look about it, but it has a big magazine on it. So I'm thinking it's a spit gun. Kind of makes sense that Mooty would have a spit gun currently listening to Judge Dredd year one and it talks about spit guns in that and how professional professional killers don't use a spit gun it's something that psychopaths and cheap juves would use it's a spray and pray weapon that's hard to reload you're more likely to hurt yourself than you are anyone else so it seems like a perfect gun for a mooty to be armed with and there we go. Nice simple step. We are getting through him pretty damn quick. Up next is Darkwood. I'm going to use this on his fur, which is just on his head. I'm going to make sure I get a good heavy coat on it. I want it to stand out against any hardened leather that's near him. So it needs to look a different shade than the belt buckle that he's got going around his neck, and obviously the pouches on his belt. So I want to make sure I properly load up the fur areas. This is a beautiful rich brown colour. I really do like it. I am hot though. Hopefully when you are seeing this on Friday the heat wave should have passed and Ottawa should be cooling back down to a normal temperature. Ugh, oh, it's been a struggle. It's hard to want to paint when everything is just so hot. But we are getting through some of the backlog now. I think uh, we're going to have a few Judge Dredd painting videos coming up. We've also got quite a few slain. Uh, there's going to be some Strontium Dog as well. And hopefully I'll finish up the ABC Warriors first wave as soon as I can. I think I painted way too many robots back to back there. And I got a bit burnt out. Which was why I grabbed slain last week and this guy this week. It's nice to mix it up now and again. But uh, yeah, there's plenty of time moving forward now to do some painting videos in. So I'm very much looking forward to getting more videos out to you. Maybe I'll uh, start using the community section here on YouTube and 
get you to pick which miniature I paint next. I've got a, a short list of free models that I want. Maybe I'll throw it up there and let you guys vote. Up next is the Blood Red. This is another bright colour. It's going to play off wonderfully against the blue. And obviously we now have the namesake, the Red Leg Raiders. My brain just died there. <laughs> I'm so sorry guys. I am there's just like sweat falling off me. It's way too hot. Um yeah. I can't wait to have a few more of these muties done. Then that's probably gonna be a YouTube video where I give them Warlord Games rules. And obviously I'm gonna try and update the community tabs a bit more and get a few more character cards for the RPG out. Also want to do a Judge Dread video going through the solo play of the Games Workshop 1980s RPG. I'm just not sure how interesting it will be if I just have the book and I'm talking. I know you all love listening to my voice. I have a beautiful voice. Let's not deny this. But how interesting is that going to be? So maybe I need to try and set it up like a comic. But that's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. So I'm going to film it first. And then we'll work out how it's going to go together. But that should be coming up soon. And we are now on to the last step of this model. We're going to use the purple alchemy. And we're going to colour in his shirt. And then I'll finish the base off camera. And then we'll do a little rotational photo video shoot. And then maybe some in-scene photos as well to finish off the video. But if you have lasted this long. I do truly appreciate you. Drop me a monkey image in the comments below and say hi. And uh, if you want to join the Discord and send me a cup of coffee, make sure you hit that uh, subscribe link. As always, I do truly appreciate you guys stopping by and uh, saying hello in the comments. There's a great little core cool group that seem to be following me at the moment. And I really do enjoy chatting with you when you drop a comment. So make sure you do. And I'll speak to you all soon. Cheers for watching.